Caller, welcome to the Scandinavian Perspective edition of the Benjamin Dixon Show. What is your name, comment, and or question? Hi, this is uh, Nick. I just, I just want to take a special exception to the belief that the right and the left are, are you know, mirror images of one another is, is, is a little bit off. And, mm -hmm. and the reason why I say this is, in America, I'm, 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 I know you're familiar with how propaganda works and how mm -hmm. social control works and all of those things, but the right, most of that has been bred by those images and by these beliefs that are that are widely held. I'm sure there are some environmentalists that just want to stop all, you know, we can't have any wood furniture or we can't have cars at all because it pollutes the earth. Yeah, you will find those people. However, that is not the vast majority. But when you go to the right, the extreme views of the right are a large majority mm -hmm. of, 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 the, of the population. Now, maybe not as far as like the racist xenophobic part. You probably won't find a large majority with that. But the basic idea that private interests should be upheld and that there's a belief in meritocracy and that everything that you are today is, is a result of your individual effort, these are universally held by the right. And they can't be any further from the truth. They, they stand in stark contrast with all sorts of empirical data. The, the belief that climate change is just a hoax. Mm -hmm. You will find that that is the majority of the yes. right views. And they're mm -hmm. very extreme because they stand in stark contrast with the reality of how the world actually is. And then I'll name one more just as another example. The belief that the world is mostly right and that good triumphs over evil and that most people get what they deserve. That is also a belief specifically held by those with high privilege and overwhelmingly represented on the right. Okay, I was not uh, aware of that last part. Uh, can, can you uh, name a situation or study or uh, something where well, that there's, has there's uh, actually confirmed? Been, there's actually been multiple studies where they'll find that the, that the more affluent somebody is, the more they tend to believe in the negativity of others and their own righteousness. <laughs> but you'll also find that, let's say you go and ask the affluent about what's the worst thing that... Uh, What's the most in, what's the what's the most unjust to them? An innocent person going to prison, or a guilty man walking free? You'll find there's a high correlation on the right that will say the guilty walking free is yeah. more of an injustice than an innocent man going to prison. Yeah. And 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 the, and what really goes behind that is they're not necessarily concerned about the reality. They've been fed that in their life, if you truly are innocent, you'll never be in a situation like that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the way their mind works for the most part. And you'll find that that's almost universal. I've never walked into a right, I've never talked to a white winger that actually has said something counter. And you'll see that as somebody varies on their degree of ideology, they'll actually take longer to answer it. And if they're close enough on the edge, they won't know how to answer it because they're battling, you know, their internal beliefs are battling with one another. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I would argue that when you take a look at the right-left uh, dichotomy in uh, the US, you have a problem where you have a unique phenomenon called Fox News, who have tremendous power. They have such influence with that side of the electorate. It is, it is, nearly unprecedented and so when you talk about the climate change deniers and when you talk about all these uh, facts it's because they have as you quite rightly uh, commented been misinformed but misinformation also exists on the left it is not to the same extreme but that is simply because that the corporate uh, media outlets that try to replicate Fox News were worse at it than Fox. They were not quite as successful, although well, MSNBC is now getting into gear uh, about like, wait, 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 wait. really indoctrinating. Can, can I interject here for a second? Of course. The belief, that, the, the belief that the reason why there's no vast, powerful ancillary to, I mean, I'm sorry, like a counterparty to Fox News is that they just weren't as good at doing it is incorrect. Remember, the corporatist view is a right-wing view. As such, they've built 
a large infrastructure and a following that attempts to control culture at all levels, at education, mm -hmm. and, and including art, music, all that, all that stuff, they're, they're in there trying to control all that to shape and push out a world view that conforms with making people accept the way the world is today. MSNBC is not, is not a right, is not a, it's not a, a left counterparty to the right. It is not. If you look at it, it is really the cheerleading arm of the Democratic Party. But and isn't that the, has nothing to do with ideology so much as it has to do with party affiliation. But isn't it then, if what you say is true, isn't it then uh, time to stop talking left and right? Because that description no longer applies. There are I don't those... Think, I do think left and right does apply. However... I believe oftentimes the label and what they mean is kind of malleable. People try to shape it to fit something that it doesn't necessarily apply. I don't think MSNBC is left. I think MSNBC is pro-Democrat. And sometimes the Democrats happen to be on the left on certain issues, and then sometimes they're not. I have sat and watched MSNBC, and I have sat there and watched them cheerlead Democratic presidents for doing things that their base does not like. Mm -hmm. So you can't say that an organization that that's doing makes that them that really makes them pro influence that. and pro money, no less. not pro Democrat. Yeah, it's it's more so a pro Democratic organization, like a cheerleading arm for the Democrats. Like if you watch Fox News, they cheerlead for the Republicans. They really do. And when the Republicans break with uh, the ideology of the right, they oftentimes actually chastise them. They're yeah. actually more, I, I, uh, they're more identi identified with the actual ideology of the right than they are just a cheerleading off of the Republicans. Yes. As I said, they're better. <laughs> they're better at what well, they do. I don't, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's necessarily better. It's more like there's a... Yes, because that is exerting okay. political control over public candidates by saying, oh, you're going against what we have decided is the ideology that you need to support? Oh, we're taking you down. That is political activism uh, at its, its highest level. It is That is propaganda where you just can't keep up anymore. That is where the political process is getting co-opted because now a sh bunch of shares in this company will <laughs> help you vote for who's the president of this company, which will give you more influence as to who gets to run the country than you actually going to the voting booth. So that is that is not right wing, that is not left wing, that has everything to do with power, money, influence, and has nothing to do with conservatism, and has nothing to do with socialism, democratic socialism, or any other ism. It just have, has to do with status quo, keeping what you have. Now, some would argue that that is the definition of conservatism, you are barely scratching the surface and are not very well informed. So I'm being told that we have six minutes left. So uh, I would like to pass the word to Richard Green, who's been patiently uh, hanging in the back. Richard, any uh, final thoughts here on my uh, Genesis show? Uh, it was a great uh, first show. I'm really thankful to be invited on and uh, be a welcome member of the Progressive Army. I look forward to trying to do what I can to pull my weight around here. Uh, I did just want to mention, uh, I did, uh, like, I was listening to the caller and the points, and I thought that there was a, I think that there was some really salient uh, points in there about, for one, it's not as if MSNBC is, you know, all, you know, putting, a, what is it, a PETA on all the time and giving them, like, as much airtime as, as let's say, Donald Trump before he was running when he was claiming Obama needed to provide his birth certificate like Fox was. Fox was trying to... They're both established, arms of the establishment in that, and in that way they're closer to each other than the left and right words that we use to describe them would imply that they're more in line with cheering their wing of the establishment on and trying to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for... Uh, basically trying to capture the more radical parts of the movement and then bring them in the tent and quell them 
and make them satisfied with whatever they're willing to give them. And so, and in that way, Fox News has been much more, much better for a long time, but has recently lost control after they didn't check Donald Trump as he was rising through that birth certificate thing. Like mm-hmm. they didn't, they everybody, all all the Republicans and even uh, Hillary said, you know, as I take him at his word, you know, he's not Muslim, he's not. You know, born in another country, and now the republic that Republican establishment is facing a base that thinks that more of them think Obama or more of them think Ted Cruz was born in the U.S. than Obama when Ted Cruz was born in Canada and Obama was born in Hawaii, <laughs> and so and then that he's Muslim and all these types of things, and so just to, I the, those are the types of things and more that I'm going to be discussing on on my show and on my platform. One of the things that I want to talk about real soon is what happened in Arizona and go over some of the statistics. Uh, some people might have noticed some peculiarities in the reporting of the numbers or that they disappeared very rapidly. One of the things that was pointed out, and I have some screams caps that I'm going to be sharing on the show, shows, uh, yeah, shows that uh, 70 per- uh, went from 70 to 71 percent. You'll get more information there, but they added a bunch of votes and actually reduced the number of votes that they said they counted a uh, total percentage in. Anyways, but uh, you can catch that at the burn down. It's uh, going to be there's a link that was posted, probably be posted again. Uh, you can follow me at Progressive Green at, on Twitter. And other than that, again, thank everyone, Ben. Thank you, Eunice. Thank uh, everybody behind the scenes for all the work that you're doing. I really appreciate it. Thanks to the callers and the viewers. Some great comments and some great. Uh, interactions and I'm just very thankful for all of it. So we are going to wrap up this show on a high note of having uh, successfully had callers in and actually having good comments uh, from the YouTube section. Thank you for participating everyone and keep the comments coming, keep participating, keep demanding more of your media, them just commenting on current events or just uh, commenting or just reporting just what happened is not enough anymore. We need to get back to journalism that will call people out when they are lying. That is one of the key ways we get a country back. So thank you all for joining me, and I hope I'll see you all again next week, Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Benjamin Dixon's show, The Scandinavian Perspective. Thank you all, good night, and good luck. The Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.thebenjamindixonshow.com to register for our blog, join the Progressive Army, and support The Benjamin Dixon Show. If you like this episode, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show and support the Benjamin Dixon show.